Hi everyone, now we will see how to configure the host IP, subnet mask and default gateway in your system in LAN by using the TCP or IP configuration. So for that, uh, here we need to create it two local area networks uh, by using the devices. I am creating the local area networks with the devices by using a router and to connect the routers with the devices I am using a switch now uh, for your understanding purpose I am specifying the IP address here here for the router we need to uh, create IP address individual particularly and for the local area we need to create an another IP address and both the IP addresses were called one is the local area network IP address and the other one is the serial interface IP address In the same manner for the other local area also I am creating the serial interface IP. Creating the other LAN IP address for the second local area network. Now uh, create the IP addresses for each device. Do the same as well for the second local area network also. Uh, now I am connecting the switch with the router and the devices in the local area. So for that here I am using a straight through cable to connect the switch with the devices. Make sure the correct connections. And connect the same as well for the other local area network also by using the same straight through cable once you connected the two local area networks by using the straight through cable now both the routers here I have been connecting by using the serial DTE uh, even here you can also use the cross through cable to connect both the routers to local area networks. So once all the connections has been done, now uh, we will assign the IP address for the devices. For that click on the router and go to the config option give the IP address and enable the port status make sure you are giving the correct gateway so uh, once you have done uh, go to the individual device and the IP address of the router should be the default gateway for all the devices in that local area and also specify the individual IP address for each the device
because the router gate and the router IP address should be matched with the all the devices uh, default gateway in the local area if not the devices won't be connected now here you are seeing the devices were connected in one local area now uh, we are doing the same for the other local area as well Make sure you are giving the correct default gateway for your device. If not, it may fail. After giving the connection make sure to enable the serial port now uh, both the local areas has been connected each uh, individually now click on the router uh, we need to set the serial interface IP for the router so for that go to the config option there you will see uh, opt call serial you need to uh, set the clock rate and give the IP address what we have been arranged do the same as well uh, as well for the other router go to serial then uh, set the clock rate enable the port status then give the ip address now here we are seeing both the local areas has been connected each and uh, for other thing here i am configuring default route so when router doesn't find the destination IP in its network, it forwards it to the next hop. That is in the case of second device. So for that I am connecting here. Make sure to add once uh, you have set the network on network. So it has been connected. So once you have been added for the both, now you can even see whether it has been added or not. You can see the network address and we can check for even for the other router as well. Yes, it's a, it has been added for both the routers and now we will uh, see how the information is getting, in tra getting being transmitted from one device to the other device, from one local area network to the other local area network. So for that here I am sending one information. Uh, now uh, we will send the information from one local area to other local area network. You can see the status as below. Thank you.